Welcome to the Uzbekistan Weightlifting Cup, celebrating the independence of Uzbekistan 29 years ago. This weightlifting event is a virtual event happening only online with our athletes gathered from all around the world, lifting at home on their platforms or their gyms, wherever they can find a set of weights and a platform. Let's meet the athletes in the women's plus 87 kilo category. We have athletes from the United States, Mexico, Europe, as well as Asia. Representing Ecuador, Emily Anangono. Representing the United States of America, Jesse Bradley. Representing Mexico, Gladys Bueno. Representing Moldova, Elena Chilicic. Representing Poland, Kinga Katzmarzyk. Representing People's Republic of China, Li Wen Wen. Representing Venezuela, Januska Espinosa. Representing Poland, Zelinska Stubinska. We also have technical officials for this session in the women's plus 87 kilo group A session. From Chile, Italo Baratini. From Romania, Georgetta Ion. And from Armenia, Arek Alarbajan. We have a reserve official as well in case of emergency. She is from Egypt. Her name is Wafa Musa. Our timekeeper and marshal is Bowen Stewart. He's in Australia. And the reserves will only press a button in the event of a technical problem with our main referees. The final changes are in. We're going to call our first attempt in the snatch. Representing Moldova, 90 kilos, Elena Chilichik. This is her first attempt. Katzmarzik, Poland next. And we're underway with Chilichik, a good lift. A good lift on our first attempt in the plus 87 kilo category. Our next athlete is 92 kilos, representing Poland, Kinga Katzmarzyk. 92 kilos, first attempt. Anangona, Ecuador, next. That lift is also a good lift for Katzmarzyk, Poland, 92 kilos, 95 kilos now, heading to Ecuador, 95 kilos, Emily Anangono, this is her first attempt, she'll be followed by Gladys Bueno, Mexico, at a heavier weight. A good lift for Anangono of Ecuador, 95 kilos. Our next attempt to Mexico, 100 kilos being placed on the bar for Gladys Bueno. Mexico, first attempt. Jesse Bradley, United States, next.
30 seconds. Bueno's lift is a good lift. Good lift at 100 kilos. 103 kilos now, representing the United States of America, is Jessie Bradley, her first attempt in the snatch. Bradley, USA. Good lift for Jesse Bradley, United States of America, 103 kilos. 110 kilos now. The athlete representing Venezuela is Januska Espinosa, 110 kilos, her first attempt in the snatch. She'll be followed by China and Li Wen Wen. Espinosa, Venezuela, 110 kilos. <laughs> A good lift for Espinoza, good lift. One final attempt remaining in this first round. We'll explain the round system to you in a minute. Representing People's Republic of China, 120 kilos, <laughs> Li <laughs> Wen Wen. <laughs> No toma, lift toma, toma, for Li toma. Wen Wen at 120 kilos. She still has two attempts to come. As I explained to you just a few moments ago, we are in a round system, which is a different way to handle a weightlifting meet. Each of our athletes now has 30 seconds to make changes to their weight for the next round. And while we're in the round, we're in the 30 seconds now. That is the opportunity for the athletes to make those changes. Each athlete or the coach has two changes to make. Once the attempts are set for the next round, each athlete will lift in turn with the weight going up. Once all the first attempts are done, the 30 second clock begins, just like right now for the second round. And the athlete attempts will be reordered every round so that we're starting at the lightest and working our way to the heaviest. And once the third round of the snatch is finished, we'll take a 10 minute break before we segue into the clean and jerk. The time has expired on the 30 second increment for all changes. We'll start with our athlete. 96 kilos representing Moldova, Elena Chilicic. She'll be followed by Katzmarzik, Poland. And that is a good lift for Chili Cheek. Now 97 kilos, one more kilo. Kinga Katzmarzik, Poland. Second attempt in the snatch. She'll be followed in lifting order by Anan Gono, Ecuador. The bar is ready for Katzmarzik. A good lift for Kinga Katzmarzik of Poland, 97 kilos. Next athlete requesting 100 kilos, representing Ecuador, Emily Anangono. Bueno, Mexico next. Bueno. 
all white lights for Anna Ngono at 100 kilos. Next athlete, 105 kilos. Representing Mexico, Gladys Bueno. Bueno, second attempt, 105 kilos. Jesse Bradley, USA, next. Bueno back in her chair before the lights even come on, and it is a good lift. She was confident. Good lift at 105 kilos. 107 kilos now, representing the United States of America in the women's 87-plus kilo category, is Jesse Bradley. Second attempt. Okay. Espinoza next. No lift for Bradley, 107 kilos. She has one more attempt coming to her in the snatch. Now, 115 kilos. Venezuela, Januska Espinoza, second attempt in the snatch. Li Wen Wen, China next. That is a happy athlete in Venezuela, 115 kilos success. Good lift. Last attempt of the second round of the snatch of the women's plus 87 kilo group A session, 120 kilos. People's Republic of China, Li Wen Wen. A good lift for Li Wen Wen, 120 kilos. Now we talked about the round system and how some things are different. One thing that remains the same is that the athlete has the same number of lifts. Each athlete has three attempts in the snatch and then three attempts in the clean and jerk. The judges, three of them, will judge every lift. Each successful lift in the snatch, the heaviest successful lift in the snatch for each athlete, adds up to the heaviest successful lift in the clean and jerk for the same athlete. And that gets you a total. The best total gets the shiniest medal. And uh, each athlete is trying to maximize both lifts and all of the attempts to try and get the best total they can in comparison to their other athletes participating. This is the conclusion of the 30-second time break. The opportunity for them to make all their changes. We'll call our first athlete, 100 kilos, representing Moldova, Elena Cilicic. Leno. Katzmarzik. Poland, next. No lift there for Cilicic of Moldova at 100 kilos. She finishes the snatch portion with the 96 kilos that she made on her second attempt. Now, Poland, 100 kilos on the bar. Kinga Katzmarzik. This is attempt number three in the snatch. Anangonu, Ecuador, next.
No lift for Katzmarsik at 100 kilos. Five more kilos going on a bar, 105 kilos now. In Ecuador, Emily Anangono. This is her third attempt in the snatch. No lift there as well from Anangono of Ecuador at 105 kilos. 107 kilos being requested in the United States. Let's head to USA with Jesse Bradley. Final attempt in the snatch. <laughs> No lift for Jesse Bradley at 107 kilos. 108 kilos now. Mexico, Gladys Bueno. Final attempt in the snatch. Bueno, 108 kilos. Majority decision says that's a good lift, good lift for Bueno, 108 kilos. Now, 120 kilos being requested in Venezuela. Final attempt in the snatch, Yaliuska Espinosa, 120 kilos. Li Wenwen, People's Republic of China next. No lift this time for Espinosa, 120 kilos. Our final athlete in the snatch portion of this session is calling for 125 kilos. People's Republic of China, Li Wenwen, 125 kilos, final attempt. A good lift for Li Wenwen, 125 kilos. And that is our last lift in the snatch portion of this session. Let's take a quick look at the scoreboard and see where we are at. Li Wenwen leads with 125 kilos after going uh, two for six, two for three rather uh, so far. She's followed by 115 kilos for Januska Espinoza. And then right now in third position, would be 108 kilos for Mexico's Gladys Bueno. We're going to take a quick break here. We've got a clean and jerk portion coming up in about nine minutes time. In the meanwhile, we're going to check out an interview and we'll check out the highlights from the snatch portion that we've seen so far.
Hello, it's your host speaking, Monika kałas paterek I'm talking to Paulina Szyszka, an assistant professor at Physical Education University in Biała Podlaska. Hello. Hi, Paulina. Hello, Monika. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Now uh, I'm with uh, the Polish Women National Team uh, in a training camp on uh, in one of Polish sports centers. Uh, located is a very attractive place. Uh, we um, combine uh, hard training on the gym with uh, relaxation by, by the lake, so, so it's a good time for us. Okay. Can you tell us how pandemic changed weightlifting in Poland? The pandemic affected the lives of all people, including weightlifting athletes and coaches. The cancellation of the sports competition, uh, as well as the closing of the uh, gym, put many athletes and coaches in a very, very difficult situation. Many of them uh, trained at home and uh, contact with trainers only online by internet. And uh, it was a very, very difficult, very stressed situation. But now when we uh, very slowly returning to uh, sport competition in Poland, we see that many athletes have worked very hard through this uh, difficult period. So, as we talk about national missions, are any organized now? Yes, yes, yes. More and more competitions are organized. Uh, for example, last weekend in Poland, there was a competition uh, where uh, near to 200 young weightlifters completed. Of course, the competition was uh, run uh, according to the safety uh, rules of the pandemics, but the, all the participation was, was safe. And how are the preparations for the Tokyo Olympics going? Uh, at the beginning of June, uh, we return to the sports camp, uh, preparation the athletes who are still fighting or to uh, Olympic qualification. Uh, so now we try normally, of course, with the special safety rules. Uh, for example, we don't meet the athletes if the, uh, in other sports and we have to wear the uh, mask everywhere without the gym. So what do you think about the present situation? What are your feelings about it? This situation is not comfortable uh, for athletes, but also for coaches. Uh, it is very difficult to um, plan the training program uh, when we don't know when the performance of athletes should be the best. We still not certain which competition will be take place, but also the athletes needs to to take place take in a competition. Uh, because it is motivated them to the uh, hard work, to, to, to very, very difficult uh, work uh, like in weightlifting. And what are your hopes for the nearest future? Can you share it with us? I hope that we will slowly return to the regular sports competition. We will be able to train and to complete as we did it before the pandemic. Uh, in my opinion, online uh, competition is very interesting. It's a very good idea uh, in this situation. Uh, athletes can safety complete with uh, players from all worlds and uh, they can motivate themselves to continue a very, very hard work. I hope that uh, we will survive this very difficult uh, time and that we will meet a big competition uh, as soon as it will be possible. Okay, thank you Paulina for agreeing uh, for this interview. Uh, wish you all the best and uh, 
hope we'll see in the nearest future in the international competition. Thank you very much. I wish all weightlifting family good health and I hope to see you soon in real life. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bye. We've got about 52 seconds. Uh, remaining, uh, we've got, well, maybe about a minute remaining before we head back in. The athletes are making their final changes to their weights. If we take a look again at the scoreboard, you can see that Lee Wen Wen has a significant lead after the uh, snatch portion of the session, 125 kilos made on her final attempt. She's followed by Espinosa with uh, 115 kilos of Venezuela, who made that on her second attempt. Our third place contestant so far, three for three. Well done for Gladys Bueno. She has 108 kilos that she will carry forward into the clean and jerk in a quest for the best total. Rounding it out, it's Jesse Bradley in fourth, in fifth, Emily Anangono. Sixth belongs to Katzmarsik, and seven is Elena Chilici. The time has expired. We're about to start the clean and jerk. 115 kilos representing Moldova. The first attempt in the clean and jerk in the plus 87 kilo class belongs to Elena Chilichik. Anangono, Ecuador, be prepared. You're next. But this is Chilichik, Moldova. A solid opener, a good lift. Elena Chilichik, 115 kilos. Our next athlete calling for 120 kilos, representing Ecuador. Her first attempt in the clean and jerk, Emily Anangono. She'll be followed in lifting order by Katzmarzik, Poland, at a heavier weight. Good lift, Anangono, Ecuador, 120 kilos. Add two kilos to the bar, travel to the other side of the world from Ecuador, and we're in Poland for Kinga Katzmarzik, 122 kilos, first attempt in the clean and jerk. Bueno, Mexico next. Majority decision says good lift for Katzmarzik. 123 kilo or 122 was good for Katzmarzik. Now 125 in Mexico. Gladys Bueno, the athlete. Bueno, 125 kilos. Bradley, USA next. Thirty seconds, Bueno. Thirty seconds. A good lift, Bueno. 125 kilos. Our next athlete is Jesse Bradley of the United States of America. 
She's requesting 128 kilos on the bar. This is her first attempt in the clean and jerk. She'll be followed in lifting order by Espinosa, Venezuela. Bradley, United States. A good lift, Jesse Bradley, 128 kilos. Next athlete, calling for 140 kilos, representing Venezuela, Yaniuska Espinosa, 140 kilos, first attempt. Li Wen Wen, China, next. <laughs> Good lift, Espinosa of Venezuela, 140 kilos. Our next athlete has the final attempt in the clean and jerk in round one for the women's plus 87 kilo category, representing China, Li Wen Wen. Good lift for Li Wen Wen, 150 kilos. And that concludes round one of the clean and jerk. As we can see, Li Wen Wen, who dominated the snatch portion of the competition, also has a significant lead after one lift in the clean and jerk. She's in first place in the total right now with 275 kilos. And second place is Yaniuska Espinosa on the back of a 115, 140 performance so far. In third position, we have Gladys Bueno of Mexico at 233 kilos. But there are a number of competitors who are very close and could change the medal standings as they sit right now. 120 kilos. Second attempt in the clean and jerk. Elena Chilichik, Moldova. Anangono, next. Yeah, A good lift for Chili Cheek of Moldova, 120 kilos. Next athlete, calling for 125 kilos, representing Ecuador, Emily Anangono. This is her second attempt in the clean and jerk. She'll be followed in lifting order by Katzmarzik, Poland. A good lift, majority decision, and Angono of Ecuador, 125 kilos. 129 kilos now, representing Poland. Kinga Katsmarzik. This is her second attempt in the clean and jerk. She'll be followed in lifting order by Gladys Bueno, Mexico, at a heavier weight.
A happy wave from Katzmatisic after a good lift, 129 kilos. Next athlete representing Mexico asking for 132 kilos. This is Gladys Bueno, Mexico. Jesse Bradley, USA, next. A happy wave from Tex Monastic after a good lift, 129 kilos. Next athlete representing Mexico asking for 132 kilos. This is Gladys Bueno, Mexico. Jesse Brown. One kilo more, 133 kilos. Representing the United States of America, Jesse Bradley, second attempt. Espinosa, Venezuela, next. Good lift. Jesse Bradley, 133 kilos. Next up, 145 kilos. Janiuska Espinosa, Venezuela, second attempt. Lee, China, next. No lift, Espinosa, 145 kilos, no lift. 155 kilos now, 155, Li Wen Wen, China, the athlete. This will be her second attempt in the clean and jerk. She's currently in the lead in snatch, clean and jerk, and total. A good lift for Li Wen Wen, People's Republic of China, 155 kilos. Athletes now have 30 seconds to consult with their coaches and make all the final changes they want on their final attempt in the clean and jerk of this, the women's plus 87 kilo group A session. As not all of the traditional rules of a weightlifting event can be applied in an online environment, the rule, the records set at this meet are not going to be accepted as world records, continental records, or even national records. There is no jury, so no challenge cards or reversals are, are available. But as you will see in just a few moments, virtual gold, silver, and bronze medals will be awarded in the total. Right now, Li Wen Wen carries her lead forward from the snatch into the clean and jerk. One set of lifts left. I will note that Elena Chilici of Moldova has declined her final attempt. So we have six lifts left. We'll start with Ecuador. Emily Anangono, 
126 kilos, final attempt in the clean and jerk. Anangono, Ecuador. Thirty seconds, and then Gono. No lift at that weight. And then Gono, 126 kilos. Next weight, 131 kilos. Poland, Kinga Katzmarzik. Third attempt, 131 kilos. Bueno, Mexico next. No lift, Katzmarzik, 131 kilos. We have our next athlete is Bueno, Gladys Bueno, Mexico, 136 kilos. This is her final attempt in the clean and jerk. We will also note that Yaniuska Espinosa of Venezuela has also declined her third attempt in the clean and jerk. A happy scream from Gladys Bueno of Mexico after a good lift at 136 kilos. Our next athlete calling for 138 kilos is Jessie Bradley, United States of America. This is her final attempt in the clean and jerk. Lee, China, next. One hundred thirty eight kilos is a no lift for Bradley on her third and final attempt. Last attempt of the session. Last attempt belongs to women plus eighty seven kilo group A contestant Li Wen Wen, People's Republic of China, one hundred sixty kilos. <laughs> Yes. 
a good lift, three white lights, and Lee Wen Wen is credited with 160 kilos on her final clean and jerk, our final clean and jerk in the women's plus 87 kilo category. She has a total of 285 kilos. A quick look at the scoreboard before we head off to our highlights. Lee Wen Wen, 285 kilos, is in first position. She's followed by Januska Espinosa, Venezuela, who declined her final attempt but still had enough with 115, 140 to play second with 255 kilos. And in third place, Gladys Bueno, Mexico, 108, 136, six for six, not a missed lift, and a total of 244 kilos. We're going to now check out the video of the highlights of that fantastic session of the plus 87 kilo athletes at this event in Tashkent. Taking one last look at the scoreboard here, you can see the Lee Wen Wen with her performance gave her 285 kilos in total and puts her in first place, followed by Venezuela's Yanayuske Spinoza, who posted 30 kilos less at 255 kilos, 115 and 140. Third position goes to Gladys Bueno. She also, I think, had the best celebration after her final attempt. She got 244 kilos. Rounding out the seven, Jesse Bradley, United States of America, Kinga Katzmarsic, Emily Anangono of Ecuador, and Elena Chilichik of Moldova. The medal ceremony now for the plus 87 kilo athletes in the total. The bronze medalist representing Mexico, Gladys Bueno. Silver medalist representing Venezuela, Yanayuska Espinosa and gold medalist and Uzbek Cup online live champion representing People's Republic of China, Li Wen Wen. Now, the anthem of People's <laughs> Republic of China. <laughs>
Thanks for joining us today for this, the plus 87 kilo category at the Uzbek Online International Cup, celebrating Uzbekistan independence. We have more sessions to come. Up next is the men's 89 kilo A session. That starts at 10.30 p.m. tonight, Tashkent time. If you want to watch the rest of this competition, it's all archived. All you have to do is look up the IWF YouTube channel, or you can watch on ESPN Play or Uzbekistan Television. I'm Richard Mason in Canada. Thank you for joining us and good lifting.